Hi, I'm back, and I have something to say. So, today, a revelation struck me. And um, I feel like it's so important, it makes me feel so happy. I, I, I have to say something. So today I was at a meeting. It's a meeting for um, talented students to consider like a grad program at my university. So it's basically a information session where they talk, they tell you information about the programs, how to apply, scholarships, and then you kind of like network um, with the other talented students after to kind of, you know, build a relationship, I guess, with the future grad students and and so on and talk about your lives and your plans and whatever it is. So it's actually a pretty small group and it's in this like tiny little lounge and I came in a little late, so there was a corner seat. So I sat in the corner, sandwiched between these two other girls. So, so far, the story is pretty mundane. So what, Lucy? You got sandwiched between two girls. Why don't you just talk to them? Okay, let me get to it. So after the information session, um, we broke up into smaller groups. We were encouraged to talk to each other. And then the girls sitting next to me were kind of like, you know, the, the popular type. So they immediately turned toward each other and went, Oh my god, I've been obsessed with your boots the whole time. And they just kind of, they were drawn to each other like magnets and kind of just squeezed me into the corner. And it was a really awkward position because there's like all these chairs around me and I couldn't get out. I mean, so I was awkwardly trying to join the conversation because yeah, there's like three people in the corner, and I'm the one in the corner of the corner. Um, which didn't really work out because they kind of really... I don't know, they brushed me off. But what surprised me is, is how calm, how calm I felt the whole time. Like, you know, if, if I could have moved, I would have just gracefully moved myself out of that corner to join a different conversation group with another set of people but that wasn't the case but I was okay just being stuck with these two people which would, wouldn't have been the case three years ago in my first year of undergrad so I was reminded of how how awful I felt how anguished and how rejected and then how painfully conscious of how eccentric I was and how unacceptable to other people but not this time no I felt calm so I feel like the great thing about university is that you eventually find your crowd like find people who are interested in um, you for the sake of you and not because you're some kind of appearances that you put on so in my case that would be kind of like the intellectual nerdy crowd um, and I'm so happy I found them. Like they're so open-minded, and we debate all the time, and it's just fun and lovely, and yeah, it's it's wonderful. Another thing that I've noticed is that I know I'm eccentric, but I've gained enough social skills not to be brushed off that much anymore. Um, which is wonderful because now I'm capable of. Starting a conversation in a big party and not freak out. And then the third thing that I felt today was I was reminded of how awful the feeling of rejection was. And I started wondering if I sometimes still unconsciously reject people who are not like me. So for example, like I have very little patience with people when they make a stupid remark. I'm just like, but let me finish your sentence for you. So I could be very abrupt in that sense. Um, which is hard to control, but I'm trying to, you know, appear as kind as I actually am, which isn't always the case, because I love to debate um, with people, and they think I'm mean when I'm just playing the devil's advocate. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say. Thanks for listening. Bye.